So you might have to put your seed bells on guys and we might have to call in the fire department because we got another wildfire raging tonight. Welcome back to your local gaming news channel guys because apparently we got the Concord situation, we got the Dustborn situation, we got the Star Wars situation. What the hell is going on in gaming right now man? And a lot of you fellas are like clowning on Dustborn but I gotta say 32 people is a community guys Bruh. it is a community of people like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders because you see we're here that concord is estimated to have showed only twenty five thousand units and keep in mind we're hearing that it's actually lower than that and this is one big lie Yay! We're gonna get right into it. Shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster. We're gonna get into it. Roll it. Numbers for Concord are coming out, and they are so bad that even the mainstream media is kinda sorta admitting that there is something wrong with this game. What a piece of junk! She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. Analysts are estimating that the PS5 sales numbers for Concord are somewhere around 15,000 units, but the actual numbers would appear to be much, much worse yeah. than that. So they say 25,000, then come down to 15,000? And we're here that it would be lower than that, and it would be lower than that. Twitter user Larry Bundy Jr. has done some digging and found that only about 1,200 people have gotten the easiest trophy to achieve in the game of Concord. I don't know where these so-called analysts are getting their numbers from, but they appear to be well and truly full of shit. I'm the champion of failures. Agree. <laughs> Yo, imagine 1,200 people, holy crap, like, look at that, man, even, like, damn, man, like, Abby the Brock Lesnar, bro, we gotta clap up for Abby the Brock Lesnar, everybody, give it up, man, alright, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo, wait for it, okay, he's gonna dance, he always dances, man, I love the homie dancing, but let's get to it. Media is finally admitting that Concord is a massive failure, but even that seems to be a method of covering up for Sony and Firewalk Studios. The thing is that the failings of this game are so obvious and so terrible that there is simply no pretending that it's not happening. I mean, look at the player count on Steam right now for Pete's sake. That is just sad. You would think that with such a small player count at first that they'd have nowhere to go but up, but it just creeps lower and- To be fair though, that's still a community. Like 75 people playing the game is still a community. 32 people playing the game, that is still a community, guys. Bruh. Listen, I'm trying to spit facts here. And, and guys, like, I, I don't know who to blame, but I got only you to blame for this one. Yeah, I blame you right now. Why? Why you are not playing this game right now, man? Why? <laughs> Why, man? Like, you don't like this game? You don't like this game? Are you racist? You're trying to be fat phobic? You're trying to be a misogynist? Come on, man. Come on, gamers. Toxic gamers. Like, come on, man. You gotta support it. Oh, by the way, I'm joking around for two people. Uh, if you're if you don't get it, I'm just joking around. Like the video if you didn't know about the game, man. And lower. They are currently in the single digits at the time of this recording for players concurrently playing the game. Can you imagine how bad the wait times are for matchmaking right now? But anyhow, this can't simply be swept under the rug. People like me, professional noticers of things, well, we are noticing very much that this game isn't being played by anybody on Steam, and now the numbers for PlayStation have essentially been leaked. If you yeah. look at the PSN profiles page and navigate your way to the page for the Concord trophy called First Takedown, which is achieved by simply getting your first kill in the game, you can see in the very lower right corner there that only about 1,200 players have actually gotten that trophy. Now, there are a few things to consider with this information. First of all, there may be people out there who buy the game and simply do not play it. I do that from time to time, admittedly. I buy a game because I love a particular franchise, but I'm in the middle of my backlog and it takes me a while to get to the game. For example... Yeah, this is this is true, right? Like, same goes for me. Uh, for example, like, I'm still trying to play Red Dead Redemption 2. Guys, listen, just not getting time. I know it's a masterpiece, okay? I hear this everywhere. I played the first hour and I I was immersed into it but then some came up some happened i just got out of it right and, and I'm, I'm i'm i know i'm putting it aside but i need to play this i need to finish that i hear it all the time that it's a masterpiece i've witnessed it first time too i need to get it so for me the backlog gotta be like uh, yeah like red dead redemption too right i, I need to finish that I, I, absolutely my copy of Tears of the Kingdom is still shrink-wrapped. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So that could be a thing. But why the hell would someone do that with Concord when that game seems destined to become a free-to-play title? So yeah, there might be some people who did that. Some people who purchased it but haven't played it yet, but not 14,000. Analysts yeah. are suggesting that the game has sold about 15,000 copies on the PS5, and we're seeing only about 1,200 people actually play the game. This explanation would not account for anywhere near that discrepancy. But another explanation could... So, so let's actually talk about this one, right? 
right? So you got Dustborn right here, right? That has a community of 32 people playing the game. Bruh. That's still a community, guys. I don't know why you you guys are being a tough crowd, man. Why, man? What, oh, who you guys seen this morning? Oh, did they remove like Conquer? Oh no, it's still there. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. I thought they removed it. So yeah, 98 people, right? Like, damn. So the homie, while he was making this video, had like 70 some people, right? 75, I believe he showed. Right now, he got 98. That's that's progress, guys. That's progress, damn it. 98. That's a town right there, guys. What are we talking about, man? That's a town right there. That's a small town, man. That's a small town. That's a community right there. You got a hundred people playing the game. You know how? Yeah, if you put like hundred people in like a room here, it's too many people, bro. It's too many people. And if one person farts, it's over for everybody. It's a nuclear like disaster. Let's just say it's radioactive material. Okay, it's a disaster. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? So, 98 people. That's still a community. Fair, fair. Fair. I'm right, you're right, we're all right, okay? Let's talk about this situation right now real quick, okay? So, 697 is the peak. Now, I'm not sure what's, like, the exact sale number for PC, but suckers are assuming, give or take, it's, like, also 2,000. And right now, uh, we're, we're seeing that at least 1,200, at least 1,200 people, everybody be with me, okay? Everybody be with me. At least 1,200 people have gotten a kill in Concord on PS5. Yeah, so 1200 people have gotten one kill on PS5 playing Concord, like this game for the modern audience, okay? And some people are believing that maybe some suckers were just bought the game, but you know, they are putting it in their backlog, they're gonna play it later, so this is why, you know, people are giving it like, maybe 2000 people bought it, right? 2000 people, and roughly around the same might be true for PC as well, and if that's true, then yeah, like, give or take, 4,000 people bought it. That's a community, guys, like, that's like a small town. That is a small town, man, like, I don't know why people are clowning on this game. I don't get it, man, I don't get it, but wait for it, uh-oh, roll it. But there are some people who disable trophies. All right, fair enough, but that still oh. will absolutely not explain away the number discrepancy. Of course, the last reason that I can think of that Sony and Concord could use to defend themselves is the fact that some players are simply bad. Somebody out there might suck at shooters, and they just haven't gotten their first trophy because they're that bad. But come on, be serious. That is only a few people. So you're saying that, like, they couldn't get... People are that bad that they couldn't get one kill in the game? Like, damn, man, that's like you... That's like you saying people just are low IQ, less than 50 IQ. Man, like, nah, damn, bro. You saying that people are stupid? That's what you're trying to say? Come on, Dr. Disaster. Nah, bro, like, at least if you play a game or two, you're gonna get at least one kill, though. Like, even back in the days, you know, when, when I started playing, when my homie started playing, you know, I, I would get, like, two kills, uh, 18 deaths, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, we all started somewhere, guys. But at least we would get, like, one or two kill per game. You know, it happened. It happened. Okay, if not in the first game, then in the second game, perhaps. Maybe you're shooting someone in the back, okay? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a bad move. That's a dick move. But still still like it happens it happens it happens it happens okay we're talking about online gaming at least uh Sigus could get one kill though people at most so in reality based on the numbers that we're seeing on this website i would estimate that concord has only actually sold around 2000 copies in its first week which is sad as hell the media is blaming bad marketing and a high price tag for the bad numbers and while those are clearly going to be factors here because the marketing has been terrible i haven't seen any advertisements for the game i haven't seen anything that would make me think i need to play this i think the main reason though is the fact that nobody wants to play the characters that look completely dog shit like this but whatever the yeah. reasons are, this game is cooked, and I am amused to watch it happen. Imagine spending a hundred- all, all the gamers right now, this is all the gamers right now. Don the worker real quick for the gamers out there, man. Shout out to the gamers, man. Gamers waking up, ga <laughs> gamers waking up, gamers are getting their steel chairs, okay? Gamers are like, hey, hey man, I'm gonna get my steel chair right now. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's good, man. Gamers are finally coming together. Gamers had enough. Gamers are not buying that the sky is green bull squash no more gamers are waking up simply put like uh, people had enough right like nobody got free time right now or people whenever they have free time 
they are not gonna spend that on crap products okay they're not gonna spend watching bad movies or playing bad games simple as that people are valuing their times and you know what i respect that i respect 50 that. million dollars they have been estimating that the game costs around 150 million dollars to develop imagine Sheesh. spending that amount of money on this game and this is the result or if you're a developer imagine spending eight years of your life putting this game together and only seeing single digit player counts happen on steam on a sunday morning that is atrocious but i'm gonna leave it there what do you guess i gotta the show you sales number i gotta i gotta show you something else as well so if Okay, so if 40, at $40, if 4,000 people bought it, they have made uh, $160,000. Damn, that's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of paper, though. That's a lot of paper. But if 15,000, like the analyst says, have 600,000, so not even a million. Damn, homie. Damn. Like, okay, so if we're gonna, like, go in that direction where 15,000 people might have bought the game on PlayStation and PC, so they have made, like... Yeah, six hundred thousand dollars. It's just a lot of money. Can a brother get like two pennies or something like that? Bruh. I'm just asking for two pennies, man. But six hundred thousand dollars versus spending hundred million to hundred fifty million. Let's just round the number up. Let's just say hundred million dollars, right? So you're saying that these suckers couldn't even make a million. So far, so far, maybe these fifteen thousand people gonna buy microtransactions, and in the end, they're gonna break maybe a million, a two million. But what about the the rest of 98 million dollars, man? What about that, bro? What about that? Man, we got a tough crowd out here, man. I blame you guys watching this video. I blame you guys not... Uh, I blame you guys watching this video and not playing this game. But uh-oh, let's get to the dashboard. Developers of Dustborn have put a statement out. Since we're going to talk about the game, I thought it'd be fun to see how many people are playing it. And as you can see, at this moment in time, 38 people are playing it. And of course, the all-time peak is 76. Uh, this game didn't sell to anybody, basically couple of streamers have picked it up because they want to put out some entertaining content and i'm not talking about the game uh watching them suffer through the game is the entertaining content okay so it got a new high of uh three more people so three more people have joined the community that's very good that's very good so this game is doing very very poorly and they're upset about it they're not happy that everyone's dunking on this game and i'm personally not happy that my tax dollars went to make this piece of shit because this like i said this is an antifa simulator and i think it's pretty disgusting that taxpayer money went into this Here's their statement. Uh, context, apparently Norwegian government actually use uh, people, uh, or I should say taxpayer dollars. Yeah, so apparently the government uh, in uh, no uh, Norway, Norway, yeah, I was thinking, right? Norwegian government, so in Norway, right? So in Norway, the government funded them 150,000 euros. So I didn't know Yellow Flesh, uh, shout out to the homie Yellow Flesh. I did not know Yellow Flesh was in Norway. So he says his government, or maybe even the U.S. government was involved. I thought he was in the U.S. Uh, perhaps he's in Norway, or perhaps he's in the U.S. And perhaps maybe U.S. Uh, also had a hand in play too, right? That's absolutely ridiculous that these suckers use taxpayer dollars to make this game. And and these suckers also were caught uh, using assets and copying and stealing assets from GTA Online as well. Yeah, it, it's wild, man. Like, imagine you paying taxes, right? Yeah, we're all something. Oh, whoa, right? Like, we all have to pay taxes, right? Maybe there's one of you out there that is sitting in dark, rubbing their hands and getting away with by not paying taxes. Maybe, right? Maybe that's true. But for 99% of the people watching this video, we have to pay taxes, man. We be looking like this, okay? Oh, we're, nah, man, this is from the yesterday, okay? Friendly BBC Online, nah, nah, nah. This is how we're looking like right now, bro. Like, we're all sad, man. It, 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 and you know what? Like, to pour salt on the wound, you're paying that much in taxes and guess what your money is not going towards bettering your country your money is not going towards bettering the education system in your country or the healthcare system in your country or making better roads or stopping the crime or lowering the crime rate providing protection right paying people um accordingly you know when they're working a job and this and that right like yeah yeah exactly right exactly like whoa you're not getting any uh, benefits okay like that money could have gone into something useful something uh that that would be good towards bettering the country guess what they were like okay we need to actually send that money to dustborn devs they need to pull out and they need to make this game and now they got a community of 41 people enjoying the game and over on red thread games this is their twitter handle it's a message from red thread to our community your community <laughs> how many people is that because about 76 people are playing the game and I'm just going to guess. Uh, wrong. Eight, four, uh, 40, 40, 40, 41. Wrong. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, 80. 
<laughs> I, I thought it was gonna be more than 81. Oh my bad. I, I mix. I got that mixed up with Concord. Based on how many people bought it on Steam, probably a hundred per platform. So maybe a hundred on Xbox, a hundred or so on PlayStation. So a couple hundred people total probably bought this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Community. So, I mean, that is a community, but it's it's, yeah, yeah. it's funny that their their post here that they locked the replies on. By the way, has more people tweeting about it than actually bought the game. So they're upset, and they put this out to our community. Since we first announced Dustborn, we've read your comments and listened to your feedback, hopes, and wishes for the game. Over the past four years, our team has poured their hearts into telling a story that's deeply meaningful to us. A story about the power of words and building a world where everyone can feel safe about love, friendships, and robots, of course. We expected Dustborn to spark a conversation and debate and look forward to engaging with our players. Uh, I, I mean, it is sparking a discussion, though. It is sparking a discussion in the community. Right now, yeah, bro, like... <laughs> Everybody's talking. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's talking about it right now, man. Uh, yeah, it is sparking a discussion, but you know, uh, 83 people, uh, 41 people currently loving the game, though. So, but that, that's a community. Uh, that's a community. We got a tough crowd, man. We got a tough, tough players crowd in a right positive now. construction, constructive fashion. Unfortunately, that conversation has been drowned out by a tidal wave of hate and abuse. We welcome thoughtful feedback and respectful criticism. We embrace discussion and debate. We have zero tolerance for hate speech, harassment, and threats of any kind. Those who engage in such behavior will be removed from our community. What community? <laughs> like I said, uh, it sounds like you're not going to last in the video game community because no one's buying your shit. But I guess it doesn't matter when the game is made literally off of taxpayer backs. To everyone else, thank you for coming on this journey with us. Your support means everything, and your constructive feedback continues to push us to learn and evolve. Yeah. Together, let's continue building. We are learning and growing. We're gonna be strong. We're gonna be independent. We're doing everything for the gamers. Gamers are toxic, but gamers are toxic though. We're trying to do everything for the gamers, but gamers are so toxic. Gamers are a menace to society. The new world, where everyone can feel valued and empowered to share their stories. So, once again, coming out, blaming everybody uh, that's making fun of the game yeah. as uh, throwing hate at them, which no one's really doing. A lot of people calling out their tax funding. Yeah. And it's funny, that really has just started to get called out over the past two or three days, and then they put a statement out. That's just kind of funny to me. Like, These I didn't, I didn't really crazy. like that people were talking about that. I haven't seen anybody throwing hate at them. Now, people have been making fun of them because the game is really bad. Mm. A lot of people mm. have been making clips and putting them out there. Mm. Uh, people have been dunking on the game because, like I said, people have been streaming the game and Can't laughing hold. at it because it's so bad. Bro, Brad, like, how old is this game? This game still looks very, very good, actually. Right? Look at that. Damn, this is like Lara Croft gameplay uh, from a Tomb Raider game. If any of you watching this knows, like, how old is this game, let me know. I'm, I'm assuming easily 10 years old by the time. Of course, you see the graphics aren't that good, but resolution-wise, I, I would say the graphics still hold up, though. It does look very good. Why am I even saying that, right? But what I mean by this is that the graphics are not 2024, but they're good. They're, they're actually looking very good, right? Like, it, it feels like a fun game. Uh, but, like, holy crap. Like, this is this game is easily 10 years old. And it still holds up to this day, in my honest opinion. Uh, and, of course, like, you're watching the YouTube compress, uh, compress gameplay. So, if you play the game by yourself, it's going to be a little bit better than that. Give or take, right? But, but what my point is that we had so many good games 10 years ago, bro. Whatever happened, bro? Whatever happened? Why, are, why can't we get good games anymore? Yeah, we, we got. We, we're getting a couple of them right now. For example, the Monkey game, the Monkey game, the Black Myth Wukong game, right? That was good. Stellar Blade was also decent, though. But but see, those games stick out like a sore thumb because every other game is so bad. And I'm I'm gonna be honest, no hit towards Stellar Blade, but Stellar Blade probably wouldn't have blown up the way it did had it been we were getting good AAA titles. The entire reason that game blew up was because of the Wookiees getting mad and the game being, yeah, decent actually. It was not the best game ever, but it was not the worst game either. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that every other game is going in the direction, right? Like woke politics, this and that. And every every other game is like calling their audience toxic, problematic, and they're like, hey man, you need to accept games like Dustborn, this and that. So when you got eight out of 10 games being like that, of course people are gonna be like yeah man like we're, we're having enough and people people are fed up and then when they see something that rejects all the politics and they say, and when you hear that the game is being made for the gamers by a dev that's passionate about video games then of course it's gonna blow up and of course like 
yeah, they, the walkies got mad and they tried to cancel the game, this and that. And IGN was saying that if you play the game, you're gonna end up beating your wife up. Bruh. Like, I'm not even making this up, bro. Like, one of the IGN employees said that, and that was huge drama a couple of months ago that if you play Stellar Blade, you're gonna end up beating your wife up, bro. What the hell? First of all, man, like, most gamers don't even have a wife. Bruh. And suckers like that do have a wife, bruh, 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 bruh. They're not gonna be beating their wife. The only thing they're gonna beat, at the very least, is gonna be their meat, bro. Like, yeah, that's what's going on, man. I don't know what these things are going on about, bro. But these these people are, are very predictable because every time this is what happens. Oh, we're getting abused. We're getting hated. When it's literally just people criticizing the game and making fun of it. No one's sending them any threats or anything like that. Yeah. They're just making fun of them. So they just put this out, and then lo and behold... To, to be fair, some gamers uh, have lost their ways, and they do send out heaven proposals, but it's like one one out of two, or... Uh, no, one, not one out of two, my bad. <laughs> my bad. It's like one out of, like, like, a million, maybe two million gamers, right? And it's like the same thing, right? One guy does something bad, then the entire race, religion, country... Uh, gets blamed right and in this case if one gamer sent like a heaven proposal first of all don't send heaven proposals guys like don't do that man i know you guys are not doing that this is not whoa i'm not saying that you you watching this video i'm just saying like in general right like one guy out of one million right like don't do that man don't do that bro because you know one gamer do that and then the entirety that then and all the gamers are Labeled as that that your yeah, gamers are all like that. They're, they love sending heaven proposals. They're menace to society You know uh, gamers uh, Games are what causes gamers to be toxic violent this and that we should stop video games this and you know like that That's where we at but ladies and gentlemen Check out this video on the screen recently. We got another disaster I'm not sure if you saw like the the, the BBC situation. We had the, the the Assassin's Creed BBC Samurai situation That is reaching wildfires right now once again and yay check this video out huge disaster If you already seen it then check out the video on the left